Hello, Captains, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. This is the Gamma Quadrant missions that we are now in, the new fourth expansion to Star Trek Online called Victory is Life. And we are now playing the new Gamma Quadrant missions that were released with that expansion from a Federation perspective. Now, people have been asking, when are you going to roll that Jim Hadar playthrough? Well, I will be doing it after I play these Gamma Quadrant missions on Ensign Ricky. I'm going to get through all of those missions first, and then I will roll a new Jim Hadar character and I will record all of it. However, um, it is going to happen after I finish all of these Gamma Quadrant missions here. So, all of these first. Now, will it be a gamma recruit the answer is absolutely yes because i am going to finish these missions this week so that i can create a new jim hadar before the gamma recruit event ends so it will be a gamma recruit jim hadar as well so yes that will happen and you will see it all just after i play it here on ensign ricky first so let's go to the next Gamma Quadrant mission. We did Storm Clouds Gather previously. That introduced us to this Herc threat at Deep Space Nine. Uh, Odo is in charge. Uh, however, Kai Kira wants to take us on a little journey to meet or visit Kai Opaka, saying that they have found a cure for her problem, why she couldn't leave the planet, and that uh, perhaps we could benefit from her wisdom with the Herc. So, um, join Kai Kira and Dr. Bashir in their search of a lunar prison colony for the former Bajoran Kai Opaka. Now, if you, have, if you have no idea who Kai Opaka is, it was in a very early episode of DS9, uh, first season, I think, and uh, we basically learn that she is the Kai, and... Uh, she knows that through the wormhole is the last mission she will have and it ends up they leave her on this prison moon with these uh, aliens called the Enus and the Null Enus and the reason why is because there are these nanites that once she had died because she died in the shuttle crash on the moon uh, it brings you back to life however it now infects your body and keeps you alive and you can't leave the planet or else they stop working and you die. But I think Kai Kira said that they have a cure for that now and so that's why we're going to meet her. So interesting that they brought Kai Opaka back into this whole Herc storyline. And I can't wait to see why and what happens here. I need your help with a very sensitive mission. A former Kai, Opaka, was trapped on a prison moon in the Gamma Quadrant in 2369. Alien nanotech in her system prevents her from leaving the moon, but it also sustains her life indefinitely while on the surface. It seems the wardens of the prison were planning on curing and granting amnesty to the prisoners until their planet was decimated by the Herc. Somehow, the Dominion managed to obtain the cure and they've provided it to us as a peace offering. The moon hasn't been hit by the Herc, but it's only a matter of time. We need to cure Opaka and the others and get them out of there before that happens. Okay. So there is an imminent threat of the moon being hit by the Herc. We're going to get a prison outfit, the Enus and Null Enus. Hit yourself white. A makeshift pole arm. Interesting. Something else? Okay, we need to go to the ult system. Interesting, we're not going to meet at DS9 first. I thought we would need to pick up Kai Kira and Bashir. But I guess we're just going to go straight to the to the ult system, which is in the Gamma Quadrant, I believe. Which means, for the first time officially, we will be traveling to the Gamma Quadrant. So let's go down here to the Bajoran wormhole. And if we look at the galaxy map of the Gamma Quadrant, 
trying to find out where the old system is. Let's see. There's the Enos system, Enos sector, New Bajor, Ragnar. I don't see anything called Alt here. Maybe we will when we get there. Guess we'll just have to wait and see as we go through the wormhole. Take the wormhole to the Gamma Quadrant for the first time officially. Very exciting. All right, now we are in the Gamma Quadrant. So, if we look here, oh, here we go. It's really close, Alt system. It's like a hop, jump, and a skip away. Begin armistice. Good, we've arrived. I suggest scanning the prison moon and its satellite network. They might have fixed the design flaw we exploited here years ago to bypass their defenses. Those satellites could cripple a Starfleet runabout with one shot back then. I'd rather not find out how powerful they are now, if you don't mind. Okay. So we need to keep our distance, be careful. We are in the Defiant this time. We were only in a shuttle the last time, or the uh, at least uh, it was... Who was it? It was Nog... Wasn't it? It was Nog and uh, uh, Jake. Jake, wasn't it? Scan the prison moon. Looks like the satellite weapon and defense systems were updated to deal with modern vessels, but they still have the same flaw that Miles O'Brien took advantage of years ago. Okay. You should be able to distract the satellites by firing probes near their position. Distract enough of them, and you'll clear an area long enough to safely beam down an away team. Interesting. Picking up some debris clouds the, the, from Herc ships in orbit. Uh-oh. That's a big satellite network, too. Look at that. Very dense. It's possible some Herc bypassed the satellites. We should be ready. Firing probes. Looks like O'Brien's trick still works. The satellites took the bait and we have a safe transport window. We're in position. I recommend we bring some pattern enhancers along. Local interference can make it tough to get a lock on, and we might have to leave in a hurry. All right, the doctor and I are ready to beam down when you are. Though I can't say I'm thrilled to see that moon again. Oh, well, here we go. I guess this will be a ground mission. Ah, the wreckage of the Yangtze Jan. Or what's left of her, rather. Looks like the locals have scavenged everything of value from the old girl. Unlike her, they can never die thanks to the nanotech inside of them. Until we provide the cure. Right. The last time we were here, the prisoners were eager to be cured, if only to get the chance to kill their rivals off for good. I'm hoping that Opaka has shown them a better path in the time she's been here among them. Guess we will find out. This will be interesting, because... Big question, did Kai Opaka get through to them? Are they peaceful now? Or are they more murderous than ever? You know, who knows? Uh, also interesting that the wreckage from that TV show is right here. Of course, yeah, they have scavenged everything from it. I mean, there is just a shell of a ship. A shell of a ship. Nothing is left. But that is so cool that the runabout from that TV show, that crash here, is now in this game that I'm playing now in this mission. I mean, that's so cool. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. I love it. That is just so cool. Okay. And this looks just like it did in the TV show. Very eerie. A little darker in the TV show, but still. 
Yes, let's see what happens. That rock is floating. We're not alone. Herc life signs dead ahead. The Herc. Don't like that. What kind of power is she using? What is she doing on her head? What kind of powers does Kai Kira have? Holy crap. This is interesting. I just ran a medical scan on these Herc. They're not regenerating. There's no sign of the alien nanites in their bodies. Something in the Herc genetic makeup isn't compatible with the nanites. I suspect it only works on humanoids. Well good, the Herc can die then. What career type would Kira be? Kai Kira, I'm just interested. Federation. She has a 10,000 health. I have a 1,000 health. She has a 10,000 health. She's a bit more <laughs> tanky than I am. Kira, you go in first. She is using um, definite ground powers on me. She's got kit powers. Somebody let me know what type of uh, ground powers she's using. Are those intel ground powers or something different? I'm curious what she's using. We're here to help. Keep fighting! I think you'll find that she'll be in good health within moments. The healing nanites are quite effective. In fact, they seem to have become more efficient than they were last time I was here. You can relax. I'm fine now. Really. You made it. Good. The guy's been expecting you. Hey, that's uh, the guy from the show. He actually looks like the guy from the show, too. Yes. She's had a vision about you coming here. Come with us. We'll take you to her. Unless you'd rather stand around here until more of those things show up. No, that's fine. I do want to see what's in here, though. Nothing. The Kai's waiting for you. In the temple ahead. She built a temple. That's nice. There she is. Welcome. It's been some time since we've had peaceful visitors. And Kai Kira, it's been too long. It looks just like her too. Truly, the prophets have smiled upon us today. Indeed they have. We have brought the cure. You'll be able to live a normal life away from here. You'll be free. And we have something to bring with us. 
An orb. A miracle. Is... Is that... Yes. A blessing from the prophets. The Orb of Peace. The Orb of Through Peace? It, we ended the war between Ennis and Noel Ennis. Really? The Orb of Peace? Didn't know that was one of them, but I guess so. As you can see, our peace has been shattered by the arrival of the hostile aliens. We have tried to speak with them, to find reason, but we have failed. We don't even know their name. They're called Herc, and there's no reasoning with them. They attack and devastate every world, every species they encounter. We need to get you and your people out of here as soon as possible. I see. We must take the orb with us as well. I can't have it falling into the hands of such a warlike species. It would be like the occupation all over again. That's not going to happen. I won't allow it and neither will my friends. We can administer the cure to everyone in groups. With your permission, we'll start right away. Very well. Begin the procedure. I'm sure many of us are eager to leave this place and begin a new life together. What a cool story. So, Kyle Paca really did have an impact here. She succeeded in what she stayed here for, ending the war between the Ennis and Nolanis. With the Orb of Peace, of course, helping. That surely can't hurt. After all this time, to live a normal life, it's like waking up from a really bad dream. I, I can think about having a family again. An actual family. I don't know what else to say except thank you. I've got a bad feeling about this, folks. We're just now, we're healing them now. But what if the Herc attack and like kill all of them and now they don't resurrect because we healed them? Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. I have a feeling that's where we're headed though. I don't Some know. time ago, I asked Bashir for this cure. I wanted to use the cure as a weapon and kill the enemy. I couldn't put the war with the Knoll behind me. I hated him for denying my chance for vengeance. Now, that's changed, thanks to the Kai. I found a better path. I just want to lead a simple, natural life. They're all going to die. They're all going to die. Maybe even the Kai is going to die. Oh my gosh. That would be terrible. I got this bad feeling. The cure, huh? Well, this cure had better work, friend. Or we won't be friends no more. Get me. Yeah, okay. You're definitely gonna die. Then it's true what the Kai saw in her dreams. Those visions. The prophets sent us the orb, and now they sent you with our deliverance from this horrible place. Truly, the prophets smile upon us all. Is this for real? This cure? They talked about it a little after the Kai arrived, but I thought it was a myth. Never thought it was actually real. So, I can die now. Funny, I never thought I would. And now that I can, I'm a little scared. Is that strange? Not at all. When they put me here, all I knew was war. I don't remember why it started, just that there was us and the Ennis. And the Ennis had to die. Even when the Kai came, I didn't believe. But when they found the orb and people stopped killing, things changed for me. Eh, guess there's something to faith after all. Anyway, thanks for everything. Looks like you're down to one dose of the cure. Use that. To inoculate the Kai. Kai or Parker, that is. I'll administer the cure to the rest here. Something's gonna happen. I mean, something's gonna happen. Oh, wait, is Kai or Parker gonna get left behind? She doesn't get cured? She's the only one that's left behind? What's gonna happen? 
Something just feels like something's going to happen. Thanks for all you have done for us today. May the blessings of the prophets be yours. She's going to die, Those isn't she? Are attacking. Defend yourself. She's going to die. Somebody's going to die. Everybody's going to die. Yep. That person's dead. Someone help him. Well, that was uh, for sure going to happen. Scan fallen prisoner. I'm afraid he's dead. There's nothing we can do for him. See that? I knew it. Though we will mourn the loss of our friend Gollin, we can take comfort knowing that at long last he was able to leave this place for a better one. He is finally at peace, and his pop will join the prophets in the Celestial Temple. I knew it. I knew it. Admiral, small herc vessel is able to make it past the satellite. You're going to have company down there soon. We've had company down here now. What do you mean soon? The soon crap. They're here now. We're attempting to hack the satellite command network. Once we're done, so we'll be able to close the transporter range and beam me out safely. There's still a lot of local interference, however, if you can get back to the initial transport site and activate the pattern enhancers, we'll be able to get you out. The doctor and I will stay with Opaka and her people in case the Herc make another attack here. Once you've cleared the way to the transport site, we'll join up with you there. You're all gonna die. Somebody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. This is not a good plan. Everyone just stay with me. See, I knew as soon as I healed them. I just knew it. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going, but I am. Oh. I know where we are. Well, I'll just shoot them all from up here. That worked. I am nomad. I am nomad. I am nomad. I am nomad. That's cool. It talks to you. Overseer here. Wow. He did not last long. Glad everyone made it out in one piece. Set up the pattern enhancer so we can beam out safely. There's no telling when the Herc will send reinforcements down. Yep, he did not survive. Oh, they're already here. Somebody's gonna die. Someone's gonna get shot in the back. Nobody's protecting the Kai's backside. Oh, it's not good. This is not good at all. I know how games work. Oh. Oh. I'm so surprised that she made it out of that. So surprised. We're reading a Herc fleet inbound. Until we deal with them, we won't be able to lower shields and beam the rest of the colonists out. They're hacking the satellites. We'll be able to reprogram them to fight on our side. Oh yeah, make that happen. In the meantime, I guess we have to... Oh, crap.
Picking up more Herc at long range, a lot more. We don't have a lot of time. We are ready to reprogram the satellites. However, standing by to broadcast the signal to the command network. Let's move the ship behind the satellites and lure the Herc in. Yeah, that sounds fun. Just in time. Here they come. Okay, uh, satellites, do your thing. I think we did it. What? Oh, I did not mean to. Uh, I'm glad I was able to administer the cure to the remaining prisoners while you were clearing a path to the transport site. Everyone is safely aboard and mortal for the first time in many years. I've never seen so many people overjoyed to learn that eventually they'll die. So. Kira's message that I accidentally uh, went by too fast. She said, It looks like the Herc have had enough for now. Let's get the rest of Apocalypse people out of the colony while we can. The Herc might send a larger force to finish us off. Okay. Thank you, Julian. It means a lot to me to have everyone out safely, especially Opaka. We have a lot to talk about, her and I. For now, I think we should return to Deep Space Nine before the Herc come back to settle the score. Okay, that was a cool little mission. Honestly, I was surprised that we got Kai Opaka out Welcome of there. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. And there we are. Opaka. Emissary. Our paths meet again. Really? Hello, Ben. It's good to hear from you. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, let's talk about that. <laughs> that was uh, something. I'm glad we were able to return Opaka to Bajor safely. She's determined to follow the will of the prophets and establish a new place of worship in the Gamma Quadrant near the world. Odo assures me that the Dominion are open to discussing this. We'll see. 
Many of us have not forgotten the fate of the new Bajor colony, and the Dominion's role in that. As for me, my time as Kai is coming to an end. Opaka is the Kai that Bajor needs now. I intend to guard the Celestial Temple from the Herc and anyone else who would destroy the home of the Prophets. The best place to do that is Deep Space Nine, as part of Starfleet. I'll be Captain Kira the next time you see me. Captain Kira. Thank you again for helping me bring Opaka home. I owe you one. I don't know, just uh, real quick here, a little thing I want to mention. Uh, the voice acting... I appreciate everybody coming back as voice actors for the for the game. I mean, that's obviously incredible. Um, but I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know. The actors seem a little bit more downtrodden. I don't know the right word for it, but a little more uh, calm, passive, a little less emotion to their voice. I mean, I guess they would sound different after 35, 40 years. And I guess their positions would mean they maybe talk a little differently, but it just seems like they're maybe a little more sleepy. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Less enthusiastic. I don't know. I can't put a word to it, but maybe you know what I mean, and maybe you're feeling the same thing. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. You let me know in the comments what you think of the voice acting here. But all that aside, um, we got Opaka. I am surprised about that. And I guess that she is now going to take over as being the Kai once again. And Kira Norris is going to become captain in Starfleet. Which is where she was headed at the end of DS9 anyway. I think she did join Starfleet, didn't she? Because she was wearing a Starfleet uniform in the last episode. Um, we're going to get Noel Ennis and Ennis prisoner outfits. Catch a white. A makeshift pole arm. So another... Uh, Another melee weapon, which I don't really do melee, but I guess we'll just take it anyway. Or polar on weapons, which I don't need. So we'll just take the polar arm. So far, the last two rewards for this mission have not been that enticing. So that was an interesting mission, uh, basically just to get the Kai. And I really am surprised that we brought her back. I felt that somebody was going to die. She was going to die. Somebody was going to die, and I guess that Noel, that Indus guy or whatever did die, but I thought the Kai was going to not make it or something like that, but nope. Apparently they have it in the storyline to have the Kai back and uh, doing her thing. And apparently the emissary, Ben Sisko, living with the Celestial Prophets in the Celestial Temple of the Wormhole, is um, talking to both Kira and to Apaka very interesting of course it's not the real voice actor unfortunately they have computerized a voice you can tell uh, there it is not the voice actor I wish he had come back for the game that would have been really cool to have his voice back in the game but I guess they're doing the best with what they can and he apparently will be playing a part of this storyline I did not know if Ben Sisko would be back for you know this uh, new storyline but apparently he is playing a role here and I am excited to see what that is and where this is headed um, a lot of higher power stuff going on here we've got the two Kai's we've got the prophets we got Ben Sisko a lot of higher power stuff um, with all this Herc stuff so yeah interesting to see what's going on with all of that but this was just a nice little episode to uh, save the Kai, Opaka, and the those prison people, finally uh, wrapping up that storyline and bringing her home, and then um, fighting some more Herc, which is always hard and annoying, extremely annoying. Um, and that's where we are. So that's what I think about that episode. I really did like it. Uh, not too long. Whereas the first mission, Storm Clouds, Ga Storm Clouds Gather, that was kind of a long mission. But Armistice was nice and short. Good, 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 good time frame for that mission. Next, we've got the search. And that sounds interesting, so we'll do that next. But uh, yeah, this has been Armistice. Let me know in the comments what you think of this mission as you played it, or if you're, this is your first time seeing it or playing this mission, what you thought about it. And um, can't wait to see what happens in the future. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.